Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ben here. Today I'm back with another video talking about um, ranking all of the final vote outs or like final jury members in Survivor history. Those players who were last to be voted out of the game who then um, joined the jury. So this is an interesting topic because a lot of these players are considered people who like if they would have gotten to final tribal, people think they may have won. Um, there's debate on that for a lot of these people. Today I, I have spoilers ahead, so if you don't want to know, obviously you can see the results on screen. So tune out if or stop watching if you don't want to know how a lot of different seasons play out, but I'm going to be going through some here. Um, but other than that, uh, I have five tiers. White tier is like these are people who even if they got to Final Tribal, they for sure would not have won. Purple is even if they got to Final Tribal, most people think they still lose. Uh, blue is, they had a shot if they got to final tribal council, but nobody's really sure on what their odds would have actually been. They, they basically had a puncher's chance, which in boxing terms means like, you know, you get in the ring and you may not be the favorite, but you definitely have a shot if you, if you like have a good final tribal, I guess blue tier, I'd say is like people who had an okay shot. And if they would have put on a great final tribal, it would have had a decent shot at winning. Uh, green tier, I'd say, is people who were considered to, like, if they would have gotten to Final Tribal, they would have had a really good shot at winning. And then gold is, like, people who have been verified by, like, jury or whoever. If they would have gotten to Final Tribal, they basically for sure would have won the season, no matter who that they faced. So I'm not really going to talk about my bottom tier here because it's pretty straightforward. All of these people, it's been said, like, even if they get to Final Tribal, uh, and I'm including Laurel from season 36 at number 40 just because essentially Final Tribal was really Dom and Wendell and she just honestly was considered another jury member by the end. So she was definitely worst shot at winning. But um, these are people who have just been confirmed like if they make Final Tribal, they for sure lose to somebody else that they're facing there. So yeah, they had no shot whatsoever. Um, let's get on to the purple tiers. Jenna from season 8. Let's say she gets in versus Rob. She probably, I think versus either actually, she has a very little chance, but she still has some like versus Amber. She has a better chance, I think, in that she can argue like, what did Amber do that I didn't basically? Uh, but I think Amber was a little bit more likable and people did get annoyed by Jenna a lot on this season. So she probably didn't have a great shot whatsoever. Johnny Fairplay, it's hard to tell. I think if he gets in versus Lil, he has like a 50-50 shot. And if he gets in versus Sandra, I think he still loses because I think Sandra was a really well-liked person on that season. Kara, season 37, the only reason I have her this high. Um, I think she probably loses to Mike White if she gets in over Nick. And like I think she definitely loses to Nick if she gets in instead of, like let's say, Mike. Um but I think what she had going for her is she was super likable. So for that reason, she had a small chance. Like um, Angelina was not very likable, but Kara was very likable. So she had a shot. Same with Jerry's play season 20. Like she probably would have lost either way, I think. But um, she was very, you know, she had a really interesting arc in that seasons two and eight, she was considered like a hardcore villain season 20. Uh, 20 she was considered fairly likable and you know if you had only ever seen that season you'd be like why is jerry on the villains well it's based on previous seasons but she was very likable but didn't really have a shot at winning to me similar with eddie at 26 um like a mixed shot at winning he had a few votes on the jury between reynolds and malcolm but a lot of it would have come down to his ability to articulate his games. Like he would have had to basically had a perfect tribal council to win. And I don't think he had that in him. So I rank him in this purple tier. Moving on to blue. Um, Holly season 26. If she gets in over Fabio or if she gets in over Chase or Sash, I think it's pretty interesting final tribal. I think one between her Chase and Fabio would have been really interesting because they were all kind of the power the power players of the season, you'd probably say Chase um, socially, Fabio physically, and Holly strategically. So I think she would have had a pretty decent shot if she could articulate her game well and have a good final travel. She could have had a shot, but I just, it's hard to know. 
Uh, Lauren, season 39, something sort of similar. You know, like, people have said she'd have a decent shot if she was in there over Tommy. Or if she was in there over Dean, she would have had a decent shot versus Tommy. It's really hard to know, though, um, because she played similarly to Tommy. But I think he was just more likable. But if she could have really owned Final Tribal, she could have done it. Uh, Kathy, I put in that same tier as like, if she goes up against Vesepia, I think it's like 50, 50, honestly. And if she goes up against Nalia, she probably has a good shot, but it seemed like Nalia wasn't going to take her. So that makes her results really, really mixed that like her or Vesepia would have had to win to get her to the final two. Um, Sydney season 32. Again, if you sub her out for Michelle, um, I think she probably loses to Aubrey. If you sub her out for Aubrey, which was the fire making challenge, I think Sydney probably wins. Um, if you sub her out for Ty, it's I think it's like uh, really hard to know either way. But I think she had a decent shot if she's in it with Ty and Michelle. Uh, I think she has a mixed shot if it's her and Aubrey and any of the other two. It's really hard to know because everybody thought Aubrey was hands down winning that season. So it's really hard to know because the the jury dynamics of that season seemed really wonky. Like it was really hard to predict who was going to vote for who. Because like people like Scott like hated on Michelle in Final Tribal, but then he also voted for her. So it was very hard to know like w what the jury was thinking. Denise in season 15, they voted her out because they said she was a big threat at Final Tribal because she was so likable. But also, I think she would have done a terrible job at Final Tribal, like being able to articulate what she did well in the game. And I think that would have really hurt her. I think if she's like if you sub her out for Courtney, I think that Denise. Um, I think that Denise still loses. I think if you sub her out for Todd, I think Amanda wins that season. I think if you sub her out for Amanda, Todd still wins. So I think it's I think no matter what, people wouldn't have respected her game enough to vote for her, although she did do well socially that she could have carried a couple of votes. Tina, season twenty seven, very good socially, but again, um like she had it if if you sub her out for Tyson, she has a pretty good shot, I think, then, but I think if you have Tyson in the final tribal, she doesn't have a good shot, so um it's it's hard to know, but it, so it's if you put her in there, her, Tyson, and Monica, I think that she might get like – she'd for sure get one vote from her daughter. But her daughter might advocate for her really hard and get the votes of like Sierra and, and Laura Moret too. So it's it's hard to know. But she seemed to be really tight with a lot of those people who were on Redemption Island. So that could have curried her some favor and maybe gotten her the win. But it was a chance, but not really confirmed. Same with, um, as far as having a chance but not really knowing, same with Devin Pinto from 35. Between, if the final tribal is him, Chrissy, and Ryan, honestly, nobody really knows who would have won because the jury, if when they're ever asked that question, all the people who have responded have always waffled a ton on who would have won. Um, so it's really hard to know. But people perceived him as having a pretty good shot. Uh, Yao Man, I think if he gets in versus anybody besides well if earl doesn't make final three and yao does yao wins the season but i think if he was going to final three with earl as he had planned he still loses so it's hard that that's hard to know exactly how he would have done but the edit made him seem like he was way more likely to win if he gets there but apparently based on jury's interviews afterwards if he would have gone with earl he would have had like not a great chance of winning because Earl was perceived as being the mastermind of the two. Rafe, similar in that I think if he goes with Stephanie, um, he has, he's probably the winner, but if he, and if he goes with Danny, I think it's like really close, but he, he loses, I think. But, uh, I would have initially put him higher here, but based on like jury perception, they said that like he wasn't as beloved as the show edited him to be. And that like people were similarly annoyed with him as they were with Stephanie. So it's hard to know. Uh, Sester Nino, I put him uh, in the next tier up because a lot of people say, you know, if he gets the final two, he wins that season, but also he was really disliked. And a lot of people saying he would have won. Those are like jury interviews, like long after, the actual final tribal so it's hard to know like 
yes, they say he would have won long after the fact, but in the moment, did they think that? Or were they really bitter about getting voted out? Because he was perceived as playing the best, but also, like, people hated him the most, and he was a villain on this season. Rodney from season 30. Basically, if Mike somehow doesn't get to the final three, most people think Rodney wins it, but that's a big if. Um... Yeah, so that's all I really have to say about him. Maddie, same thing, or not same thing, actually. People think that if Maddie gets the final three and any other combination, he wins the season because he was like the most normal. I think him versus Bob is interesting, and he probably ekes it out, but it's it's debatable. Kelly Wentworth was, it was said that if she gets the final three, she played so well from the bottom that she might have won, but I don't know how much people really would have respected her because she didn't have very many allies on the jury. Like, I think Abby and uh, Sierra vote for her, but I don't know if anybody else really does. But people were pretty impressed when she was playing idols and winning immunities, so it's hard to know. Sarah from season 40 had a pretty good shot, it seemed like, but... Um, Tony was so much like more present and on display than Sarah, so it's hard to know if the jury would have really perceived her game as well uh, as Tony's. Rudy from season one. A lot of people said he would have won if he would have gotten the final two versus anybody he faced, but also I think he wouldn't have been very good at articulating his game to the jury, so that could have hurt him, but people say that he would have won if he would have gotten there. Uh, I think very similar with Keith, like... People have he had so many allies on the jury. I, I think the majority of the jury was his allies that he would have won going into final three, but also his final tribal performance I predict would have been pretty bad. And they pulled the jury right afterwards and said he would have won, but I think that's subject to change. Um, if they said if he would have gotten to final three instead of I don't know who it was Natalie, then he would have won. But it's hard it's hard to know for sure. Uh, same with Malcolm. If he gets the final three, let's say him, Scoopin, and Lisa, he wins. Him, Denise, and Scoopin, uh, 50-50. Him, Denise, and Lisa, I would say again, 50-50. The gold tier are people who have like been confirmed, basically. If they would have gotten to the final tribal, they would have won. Scout easily beats Twyla, I think. Brett, it's confirmed. The jury hated uh, Russell Hance's alliance and they loved Brett so he would have won had he gotten the final trial Lex would have beaten Kim for sure um, just the way, same way Ethan did they were perceived pretty similarly except Lex was respected for strategy whereas Ethan was respected for being the nicest person to ever live um, Sari and Micronesia people often say like if she would have gotten to the final two with either Parvati or Amanda she would have won pretty handily because the jury perceived her to be the mastermind behind a lot of what was going on. Um, Ozzy, if he gets to the final three instead of Sophie or Coach, people he had I think half of the jury was his friends already from their alliances, so they he would have had a lot of votes and um, he would have won pretty much for certain. Terry, same thing. If he goes to final two with Danielle instead of Aris, or even him and Aris, he wins because the jury was just in awe of his uh, challenge ability. Rick Devins, if he goes instead of Underwood, or if he even goes with Underwood, I think Rick Devins wins. David Wright, it's been confirmed if he even sniffs final tribal, he pretty much wins in a landslide. And if Ian goes to final tribal with Tom or even without Tom, just him and Katie, I think Ian wins pretty easily. Because although Tom was um, really solid, Ian was actually better physically. And I think people liked Ian just a little bit more just because Tom was a little self-righteous at points. A little bit, a little bit, not a ton, but... Tom was sort of that dude that, like, schmoozes people a little bit. Even though he's well-meaning, he comes off as a schmoozer a little bit, whereas Ian didn't have that. So I think Ian is by far the most powerful player to get voted out and be the final jury member, whereas if he makes the final, he wins. There you have it, guys. That's the list. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you check out some other videos on the channel. I've been making a lot more Survivor ones lately, so check them out. And I hope you guys leave your thoughts on this in the comments, and you have a good day. So I'll see you next time. Bye.